Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy, Voyager Class, Autobot, Blaster, and Eject. So, here we are, and uh, there's Blaster, but before we take a look at the figure, let's go ahead and take a look at his box. So, right up front there, I got a nice picture of Blaster in his boombox mode. You got Transformers Legacy, Voyager Class in a bunch of different languages, Autobot, Blaster, and Eject. Transformers running along the side there, Generations, Takara Tomy. On the top, you got Transformers Legacy. On this side, you got a nice picture of Blaster there up on the top as well. On the bottom, nothing, just some stickers and barcodes. And on this side, you got some nice Legacy artwork, which in comparison to um, Soundwave's box looks a lot better. I like the Autobot one better than the Con one. Uh, and then on the back, you got some pictures of uh, Blast, uh, Blaster and Eject. You got the boombox mode. You got uh, eject here in his bot mode and cassette mode, and then you got Blaster in his bot mode and showing that Eject can go on his chest. And yes, I have Eject, he just wasn't over here. He's right here. Alright. It's not that big of an issue, don't worry about it. Um, and then, yeah. So that's basically it for the box. So I'm going to put the box over here for now. And uh, we'll take a look at Blaster. Actually, let's take a look at Eject first. So I'm going to put Blaster over here for now. So here is Eject, and he's just a little small trans clear and blue uh, cassette and with some rivets by here. But you can see all trans clear and blue. You got some gold paint there. You got the little circles that are meant to be the tape deck mo or tape mode. The back got his head in there. You can see the joints for the arms and legs, but. Yeah, it's a little little cool guy. Um, for comparison, because <laughs> there's really not much to talk about in tape mode, let me just zoom in if I can. There we go. A little more. A little more. Oh, perfect. All right. For comparison, because I do have to bring this down a little more. For comparison, here he is with uh, the Studio Series Rumble. So you can see what those two look like together. They're about the same size. And uh, real quick, I'm going to... Actually, you know, I'll show that when we bring the camera back out. So there's Rumble. Here he is with the uh, Studio Series Core Class Ravage for the Bumblebee movie. Here he is with um, Earthrise Bomb Shock. And then lastly, here he is with Earthrise Growl. Yeah. Now, uh, really quick, because I want to show this off, because why not? If we bring in Blaster, and uh, if you want, you just press in on these buttons here, and his chest will open, you can take um, Rumble here, slot him in there. You just got to make sure it fits, and there you go. He can have Rumble in his chest. But this is Soundwave's, not his. Um, and he can also do it with Eject, obviously, this is his bot, so we can open his chest and you can just throw Eject in there and close that up and there you go. So, yep, that's basically it for his tape mode. Now we're, oh, now we're going to do the transformation. So, first thing you want to do, you want to come to his legs here, you want to undo these, and you want to extend them down and then just flip the knee in. Just anything on this side, extend the leg down and rotate the knee in. And then you want to come back here and you want to pry his head out, slip it up, and then rotate it around. Then you want to undo his arms, bring them down and rotate the elbow. So bring him down and then rotate the elbow. And uh, there you go. There is eject in his robot mode. And the trans clear and blue is really not doing it for me. <laughs> uh, it's just a lot. It's a lot of blue. I like blue, but damn, it's a lot of blue. Um, you can see his face there, if my camera wants to focus. You can see his face there. He got some blue eyes, orange face shield. He got some gold throughout the body, and then the rest is just blue. <laughs> and gray on the head, gray on, like, all his limbs and everything, except for, like, where the hands and the feet are, but, oh, that, come on, focus, thank you, but, um, yeah, you know, for a little, for a little bot, he's, uh, come on, 
for a little bot, he's, he's he's nice. You know, I said the same thing with Rumble. You know, the size of the of the of the figures, well, and got some good articulation and whatnot. So yeah, now let me transform the other guys because I forgot to do that. So well, okay, now that I got all of that fixed up, here he is with the Studio Series eighty six core class Rumble, and you can see Rumble is like quite a bit taller than him. Or a couple, a little bit taller than him. Not that, not that much taller than him. Here he is with Earthrise Bomb Shock, whose heel backs do not like to stand. Here he is with Earthrise Growl, another figure that does not like to stand. And then finally, here he is with the Studio Series Core Class Ravage. You can see how those two look there. That's basically it for Eject here, but there is one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, you can uh, fit in Soundwave too if you really wanted to do that. Uh, you know, it looks alright in there, but he can just be like, Eject! Eject! And that will happen. But, you know, a little finicky, but eh. It does work, but... Eh, yeah, it's just an option if you want to do it, because why not? Um, but yeah, so that's basically it for Eject, so we will put him off to the side, and we will take a look at Mr. Blasta here. And, uh, wow. <laughs> um, oop. I just want to, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but you can see here, it really it looks like Blaster from the original G1 show. Really, really nice. You got the, some nice yellow paint on there. Looks really, really good. Here's on the back. You know, the only thing that's really complainable about this is this flap right here, but honestly, I'm not going to mind it all that much. Yeah, he cleans up very nicely, and it's very nice to see that. But, um, yeah. So for articulation, his head is on a ball joint, so he can look up. He can't really look down. He can do a little bit of tilt. Can do a full 360 here. His arms, they can go out that far and go all the way around. Uh, his elbow, you can bend it so he does get a little bit more than 90 there. Oops. And his wrist can go inward, but that's more for because of the transformation hinge. Uh, the waist, you again can do a full 360. Um, legs, if you flip up this back panel, they go up about that far. They go back that far. They go out all the way. You can do the full splits. Uh, the knee, you do get 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And then his toe can go up, but that's more for transformation. And then you do have some ankle tiltage there. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Now, uh, for some comparisons for Blaster here. Here he is with the... Legacy Soundwave that was recently reviewed on this channel. So you can see what they look like together. Here he is with the Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. And then here he is with the uh, Studio Series 86 Movie Cup. If Cup likes to stand. And then here he is with Earthrise Starscream. So you can see what those two look like together. Because honestly, all, all of these figures... Well, because Hot Rod and Cup are 86 movie figures, but this Starscream was used, like the mold, for the for the 86 Starscream. And then lastly, here he is with the Earthrise Optimus Prime. So you can see what those two look like together. And yeah, I think they look quite nice. So there is that. Now that's pretty much it for the bot mode other than, you know, that. Um, he can push his own buttons if you just use this uh, joint here that's for the transformation. But it's a little, looks a little weird. Um, but yeah, you can do that and honestly it's not going to work the first time around. I don't really recommend you try to press it with blaster, but... It's a cool thing if you want to do it. Just make sure that you snap all that back in. 
when you're done trying to make him look cool and pressing his own buttons for a pose or for whatever. And you know, you can just eject, eject, and we can take him out. You can transform eject without with him in there, but I always like to take him out. It's just a little habit of mine, but yeah. So now we shall move on to the transformation. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here. Oh, wait. Nope. I lied. <laughs> we got a gun. So, <laughs> he can put his gun in his hand here. And, uh, you know, he can shoot sound wave all he wants. And pew, 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 pew. Bye bye. <laughs> but, um, yeah. He can do that. Or you can untab it. Or untab it. You can release it from his hand. He's got various ports on his body all on the back, and you can plug it here. This is where I usually plug it for storage in the bot mode. Um, I mean, for the for the tape for the boombox mode, there's a tab right here and a slot in the handle, and you just plug that right in, or not. <laughs> you can just plug that right in there, but that's more because it elongates out, so I don't really recommend this storage for bot mode, but. That is a thing you can do if you want to do it. But now we shall go on to the transformation. So first thing you want to do is you want to come back here, flip this section down, and then just flip his head in, and then close that up. Now he's a blaster with no head, uh, and you can bring his arms out. You want to rotate the bicep all the way, and then you want to flip the hands out and then down, and then you want to use that joint I was showing you guys earlier, and just flip this all in, and then you can bring the arm back down. Now do the same thing on this side, so flip that, bring this out, undo this and flip it in, and then you can just bring his arm down. Now for the legs, you want to flip in his toes here, and then you want to uh, rotate the waist all the way around just like that. You want to rotate the legs out like so, then you want to come to this panel, flip it out, flip this section up, do the same thing on this side, flip this out, and then up. One thing I forgot to do, I always forget to do this, these speakers on the inside of the legs. So I'm going to press these in and rotate those around. So just do that on this side as well. And then you can, I always flip this up, I just think it's easier. Uh, there's this tab right here on this side leg that's going to go into that slot up in the arm. So you just bring this out and make sure that goes in there like so. I hope, yep, and then you can just fold all this up and then in there just like that and while that part did not actually try to fight me, that's crazy. So then just do the same thing on this side, just bring this up, tab that in, make sure all that's sitting the way it should be and then you can flip, nope, this side, this side fought me, this side fought me, okay. So you just bring, collapse all this in and there we go. And then you can bring this panel and these two slots that will go on these two tabs over here. Just collapse that down, just like so, and there you go, there is that, and then you come back here, these uh, black bar sections, you bring these sections up, and then you want to make sure that you don't move the ankle tilt joint, just so want to flip these in, and then there's this table that will go into that notch there, so just flip that in, and then press it together, sorry, I, know I didn't show you guys that part, but... So I'm going to do that, and then that is oh, that is basically it for the transformation, and here he is in his boombox mode. So yeah, that, um, wow, and again, it just, nothing, it's nothing, and it's very nice. Um, but yeah, it cleans up nice on the back, you know, it's just the back of the bot mode here and the legs, but it looks good. I'm not mad about it at all, but um, yeah. That is quite nice, and we can press down on that, and you can just take eject and slot him in there, and that's where he will be for the rest of his life. I'm just kidding, no, I'll take him out from time to time. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very nice um, boombox mode here, and I like it a lot. Um, but now for weapon storage, because we can bring his gun back in here. You know he's got uh, he's got a port on the on the foot if you want to just do that it's murder box, um, or again you know you got these various ports and stuff like I said I put it on there 
in bot mode, but this is not bot mode, and this is where how that tab and the slot and the handle comes into play for the boombox mode, and um, yeah, that, you know, it conceals it, it hides it, it just sits there, and that's pretty nice, and he can just do this all he wants now. So yeah, that is Blaster's boombox now. I will go ahead and do some comparisons real quick. If my lighting wants to be focused, come on. Thank you. Okay, now let me do this real quick. Okay, so here he is with the fan mode of Soundwave and a sort of tape player mode. I, it, yeah, not the best, but yeah, it does its job. So there is that. Here he is with the Studio Series 86 cup, so you can see what these two look like side by side. Here he is with Studio Series 86 hot rod, because why not? Here he is with Earthrise Starscream, who does not even fit in the frame. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then finally, here he is with Earthrise Optimus Prime, who again also does not fit in the frame. <laughs> but there you go. So there you go, there is the Transformers Legacy Voyager class Autobot Blaster and Eject. And uh, you know what? Honestly, I still like Soundwave and Rumble more. Um, it's, you know. Foster's a good figure. He's a very uh he's a good Voyager. The transformation's good, he cleans up well, and apparently he's the same size as uh Commander Class Rodimus Prime, which damn. Um <laughs> But, you know, Eject is a nice little guy to get with him. I wasn't even expecting him to include a cassette, but I watched some reviews and you know and he had one. And uh he's got a he's got his blaster there in his hands, it's a cool gun. Um, the all mode's cool, it's very accurate to G1, and I like that a lot. Um, articulation's good, posability's good. You know, overall, just a very great figure. So, yeah. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you want to see more from my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And, uh, go watch the reviews for Soundwave and Rumble, and as well as the stop motion for Soundwave, because those are all up on my channel now. I am going to do a stop motion of Blaster and Eject tonight, or maybe even tomorrow, and one with Soundwave and Rumble again. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I deeply appreciate it, and uh, I will catch you in the next Raise Gaming Core video. Peace out, everyone, and good night.